they had called us multiple times apparently. In 2019, we told you about likely the most prominent swatting case in Central Virginia. Police swarmed this Chesterfield home after someone reported a murder hostage situation there. The couple who lived here were just playing in a video game tournament. Locked on. Yeah, yeah. They made us come out. Hands up. Punishment for swatting when someone knowingly calls in a fake threat at someone else's address or a school about to get much stiffer in Virginia. Someone convicted of doing so will soon face up to a year in jail for just making a bogus call. If someone is hurt or killed in the response to a swatting call, the caller will be charged with a felony. When those offenses are called in, police have to rush there with as many resources as, as are available, which means they're pulling resources from other places. Dr. William Pelfrey is a criminal justice professor at VCU. Enhancing the penalties for swatting is going to help law enforcement, it's going to help public safety, and it may deter some events. But the people who commit swatting are not known for their judgment. They're not thinking about the long-term consequences. The consequences for those on the other end can be severe. Pelfrey says police in other parts of the country have shot and even killed people who were victims of swatting. When police show up, they think there's a very serious threat, so they run in ready for violence. And sometimes violence happens when it really shouldn't. There's a psychological effect at schools. Imagine 1,500 students being uh, rushed out of school because they think that there's a serious crime. If that happens, that diminishes their perceptions of safety in school. High-profile mass shootings have created an upward trend of swatting incidents, Pelfrey says. Many localities now have their 911 dispatchers analyze call data, sending police to a call, but examining if the caller is known to falsify reports while they respond. If police know that there is a chance maybe a serious chance that this is a swatting incident, it'll change how they respond. Pelfrey points out there is talk that swatting could soon be made a federal crime. Right now it's a local crime and becoming a state crime. So if it becomes a federal crime, that will change the resources available and the investigative capacity of the United States. This swatting law and a host of new laws will take effect Saturday. Reporting at the state capitol, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.